It's fall magic in Canyon de Chez this November. The golden cottonwood leaves are still on the trees, and the fallen leaves get awakened by wind swirl gusts, and they spin like ballerinas and turn on their edges, giving a magical quality. And all day, the wind gave flutter voices to the leaves, like an all-day meditation with nature. Entering Canyon de Chez is always an adventure any time of the year. Now with the fall rains, we've got high water in the canyon. You can actually encounter even quicksand coming in here. Here's a Navajo sheep corral. Part of the fascination of the canyon is seeing the sheep the cattle, the horses, the Navajo people of today. And in this canyon, there's a few hardy sheep that have gone wild and live high up on the cliff like their wild ancestors. Here, shown in rock art by the Navajo people. Horses on the room are also very prominent here. Over 60,000 feral horses exist on the Navajo reservation. Navajo people are great riders, totally at home, out on the land. Here this rock art shows Navajo hunters on horseback. Over the last three decades I've had many adventures exploring in the canyon area with my Navajo friends. Here's one from a trip we went in January, jeep driving right on the solid ice. In the canyon, you see the traditional hogans and the more modern day hogans, but always they have that rounded form with the doorway facing the east. This is from a ceremonial fire. Over the years, I've had many groups in the canyons doing retreats. Here's a group celebrating with drums doing a circle dance around the campfire. Special moments, as with this demonstration of elements of a Na Navajo ceremonial sand painting. This one here is Lightning Boy. Navajo rock art portraying the antelope. This is one of my favorite places in the canyon, Mummy Cave Ruin. To me, just looks like Mother Earth speaking to us. Spider rock and face rock are said to represent the talking and the calling gods. Canyon Jushe is said to be a place where the holy ones come to communicate with human beings. There's over 2,000 years of evidence of humans having lived in this canyon. These are the Puebloan ruins of the Hopi ancestors. A sense of childlike joy emerges after this beautiful day just being here in Canyon de Chief. Shake your love, in a way, you 